Hey everybody, it's Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. How are you? Today is teaching day. Um, I have a lovely lady here. Her name is Tommy. She has agreed to let me film her. Say hi, Tommy. Hi, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> um, she's going to do a pour. I just gave her a demonstration um, and taught her how to mix colors and what pouring mediums. And we talked about paints and opacities and color theory and everything and she's about to i'm not looking at the dot sorry <laughs> she's about to uh, do um two 10 by 10s with uh colors she chose and uh, before we start i'll show you what we've made so far and then uh, we're going to film her doing her so it's very exciting yeah. but here's what we have so far let me flip this around and come down we have this cute little six by six sorry for the glare we got that guy finished. We have an amazing five inch round right there. And then this is one um, where I demonstrated her to her how to mix colors and everything. Um, and this was a flip and lip, sorry for the light, um, that we've done. And now she's going to do a regular flip cup and then a flip and drag. So let me rotate this back around so uh, now that's gonna be me so let me turn this I'm gonna go behind Tammy so you can watch her so, or Tammy Tommy, Tommy also. sorry so hold on we're gonna walk around there's Rizzo in kitchen and then if I turn this let me see if I have this behind her I'm sorry, this is all handheld, very impromptu. So take it away. I'm just going to stand here and hover over your shoulder. Yeah, probably. Yeah. You're going to be famous. Oh my God, famous. Is that so we're starting with black. Yep, we're going to talk about, um, I'll list the colors. So we have black. We have um, light purple from Artist Loft. The black and white is my usual Artist Loft flow acrylic. This stuff right here. She's putting in her violet. We have Artist yes. Loft, the metallic teal, which, or cobalt teal, excuse me. So we're doing the cobalt teal. I wonder how tired my arm is going to get. We're going to find out very shortly. <laughs> I should grab my stand and put it up behind you. I might have you grab my stand in a second, and you're going to go on the other side where I stand. Okay. So now she's layering on... I can't see the color. That is the Amsterdam blue violet. It's so gorgeous. Oops. And now she has the Amsterdam teal aqua. Sorry, aqua. Bright aqua green. Layering that. She has some Windsor and Newton um, Windsor violet. And then the pouring medium recipe she's using is my 4 8 12 combo. Four ounces of water, eight ounces of the golden color pouring medium in gloss, 12 ounces of Elmer's Blue Oil. That makes a total of 24 ounces. Uh, pouring medium in my quart, sitting over there on the counter somewhere, um, for 24 ounces of pouring medium. One to one ratio, add water as needed for consistency. And she has put a couple drops of the spot on treadmill silicone in all of the colors except white. Want to mix it up this time? You can, yep, Let's you can change the layer. She's going to change it up. And as soon as she's done uh, layering this first cup, I'm going to have her grab my phone stand so I don't have to stand here like this. And she'll move over to the other side of the counter. Uh, Otherwise, my arm will fall off. <laughs> we should have thought of that about that before we started. Well, we didn't plan it. We didn't tape, plan, so. yeah. This is very, very impromptu. We just thought it would be fun to show. Ha, um... <laughs> ha, ha. Oh, yeah, grab it. And then you have plenty of paint for that one canvas. Yes. Plenty. So, hey, thank you. You're welcome. Plenty. We're gonna skip this one. We're just We're gonna, gonna go straight to the white, okay? Okay, yeah, you're painting. Okay. 
Now, if you could stop a second, just you can flip it on, flip it on the canvas if you want. Yes. And then we'll stop that. and we'll grab my stand. So my arm's gonna kill me. Flip it to you or away from you, doesn't matter. Where, where, however you want to do it, you're just gonna flip it over. Aha! You know, ah. There you go. That's fine. All right. Where's your stand? Um, right behind you on the floor. And you're gonna put that up here on the counter, right underneath the tarp. And you're gonna lift this, so they get to see all the work. And you're gonna lift this straight up, like this. No, not, not high, that high. This, and we're gonna tighten this. And I'm gonna come around and plop my phone into this. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Where am I again? And I'm gonna hopefully not turn anything off. This is the view they're used to seeing me. And then we're gonna come down on the canvas like that and that's perfect you can come around to my side and that way I don't have to hold it and she's just waiting for the colors now this time you're gonna do what you're gonna lift straight up we're gonna do we did a flip we did a flip and flip lift. and lift now we're gonna do a straight up straight up cup right so put your cup more in the middle of the canvas then since so you're gonna lift straight up now listen when you lift straight up you're gonna have paint see the lips of this cup right here absolutely since he's in frame. So this cup right here, if when you lift it straight up like that, what happens is the paint is gonna run around the, the rim, around mm -hmm. the lip. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna have to kind of move it away, or some people like that look, to have the drips in the middle. So when you lift it straight up, just be aware of that. So you can either hold it straight up and let it drip, or you can pull the cup away. I'm just gonna lift it and whatever comes over me, that's what I'm gonna do. You're gonna just be an au natural. Very organic. Very organic, all right. You ready? Yes, this is uh, guest Tommy's first cup, flip cup. Yay! Ready when you are, great, great. I'm just gonna help you not let it run off the canvas. So much, yep, yeah, through your ends. It's gorgeous colors. Oh my goodness. Oh. Goodness gracious. That is so, so pretty. I was in the middle of eating an apple before. I oh, yeah. to oh, you this. didn't finish it? <laughs> no. I had like three bites out of my apple. All right. That's that looks beautiful. Fantastic. So, what do you want to do with it? I'm going to look at it. And yes. Just let sit it in a tape. Sit just, and just, stare. And yeah. The paint's all freaked out. Like, what just happened to me? Just leave it alone. Leave it alone for a second. Let it breathe. Like that bottle of wine. Exactly. Yes. Do we have a lot of cells? No. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? It's not good or bad. It just is. Well, if you had a ton of cells, that would mean that your paint is too thin. And that when you went to tilt it, they would get misshapen and run all over the place. So, so the less cells out of the cup, the better. The better. Right. You dictate where you want the cells. You pop the bubbles and then from you're going to hold your torch up high, far away. Okay. You're going to turn it in circles. And then you're going to um, decide where you want the cells. And wherever you, you want the cells, not the paint because you're the boss, you'll get a little closer. And it's oh, gosh, spectacular. I and I really, um, so one thing, um, just for the YouTube folks, the one thing we did different this time, we did one pour, the first pour, where we had white at the bottom of the cup, and then we layered our colors. And then when we did the little guys, um, I had put black as the base at the bottom of the cup and white at the top. So that's what we decided to do this time, which made this really gorgeous mm -hmm. effect in here. That so looks like the it looks very um, stars, stars and, and space. Yeah. yeah, deep space nine yes, kind of I thing. Like that right there. So go ahead and pop your bubbles. Um, do you want to tilt it at all yet? No. You don't want to stretch it out or anything? Not right this second. Okay. Off you go. There's the torch. No, it's up. You don't have to mess with it. Oh, this. There's a, um, sorry. You have to hold this little button in and then squeeze. It's a little button with your thumb. There you go. There you go. And you have to hold it. And you stay up high. Just pop them bubbles. Get a little closer. Don't wave around. 
down so much. Yeah. Pop that big bubble. There you go. And then get a little closer where you want the cells. And get a little closer. You're still up kind of high. Oh, this is going to be good. That looks pretty great to me. It's up to you, though. It's your painting. Um, I think it looks beautiful. Oh, so just let them set a second. Let them think about growing and getting bigger. Take your time. Look at this little guy with the purple. Yes. With the black. And the then blue, blue. And then purple again. And I like this one. Black. Gray. The gray, the white, the green. It's amazing, amazing. Looking beautiful so far. Had a fabulous teacher, that's why. Uh oh, thanks. So now you're ready to tilt. So take a look at it, decide what you like. What do you really like? I really like this right here. Right here, do you like the white? It's a little too much right here. So you might wanna consider and you need coverage here, right? So, so move that white over there. You're gonna tilt up to, to get here and here, and at the same time, you can tilt a little bit that direction to remove some of the white or all of it or whatever you wanna do. Okay. And then when you're done and you're happy with it, you're gonna tilt back the same way because you want, before you change direction, always take the weight of your paint back to the middle of the canvas before you change direction, where the, where the paint is thickest and heaviest because the cells float on top of that. So don't decide to go over here and then like decide, oh, I'm gonna race over to the opposite corner. Bring the paint back and then move over. Does that make sense? Yeah, it's like when you're playing tennis. You hit the ball, you come back, back to the to center. The, do you, you hit play the ball, tennis? Of course, you come back to the <gasps> center. Too. Oh, I have a game tonight, I have a match tonight. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah I it's play just on like my tennis. local hit, team tennis. come back, come back. Yeah. Always in the middle, same yes. deal, great analogy. There you go. All right, off you go. <sighs> oh, the sound. <laughs> no, you're great. Take your time. Go slow. Remember, you want to come sideways. Don't go just right. that way. Come this way, and then kind of, kind of on a diagonal. There you go. And I'll give you a little bit of help right here. Remember, we do you the fingers yes, drag Yes, to drag pull. it over. Drag it over. When you're ready, if you want to get all over. I'm back. Okay. Now go slow, slow, back. And you can stop and set it down and take a look. Okay, it looks like you got the weight of the paint back. Yes. I probably might as well knock off that corner while you're at it. Watch, watch yourself here, not straight. You want to go that way, not go up. Yes, yeah, it's, it's like side up, side, side to, I imagine flying a plane. Not that I've ever flown a plane. <laughs> But you know, you got to keep it, there you go, and then just get that corner, and then come back. I didn't quite I know, get like, it. All the way off, I say, all the way off. Boss that paint around. Look how big your cells are getting, it's amazing. Now bring all the paint back to the middle. Hold your canvas nice and level. <sighs> Put it down a second, take a breath. <sighs> Stare at it. Look at it. And it's gorgeous. But look at right here. Oh. Yes. Excited? <laughs> now, if you want, yes. Like little areas, since you have your size card, do the finger trick, and put it on the edge and roll it off. Right here? No, no. Just like maybe oh, right, here. right gotcha. up here, gotcha. and then roll it off. Now here, you can help it by grabbing it and just kind of doing this, because paint on the canvas will help it from rolling under itself and help it slide a little bit. Oh my gosh, Tommy, it's beautiful. Beautiful. And off you go. You just have a little now bit of tilting just that to little, that corner. Okay. Yeah. Just take your time. Tilt slowly. Okay. okay. Tilt slowly. Oh, You're look at that doing, purple streak through there. I know. It's beautiful. You're doing great. It's not moving. It is. It is? It okay. is moving. Now tilt over to your left. And then toward the corner, you're going to tilt. Got it. Corner, left, down, left, bottom, left, gotcha. bottom. Gotcha. You and are forward. a phenomenal. <laughs> left, bottom, left, bottom. A little more, a little more, a little more. Go back. Uh, you stretch everything back. Not so much. Slow down. 
you're tilted, you're all crooked, straight. Now just go straight up that way and let it go. Look at the giant cells you got. That would stop right there. It's up to you. No, no, no. Me, oh, yes, I am. No, no. Oh, you, yes, I am. If you want to move cells somewhere else, no, you're it's free. it's beautiful. No, it's beautiful. It's really, it's really beautiful. pretty. So now what you have to do is use your finger, like I said, put it sideways, touch the paint, and then roll down. There you go. I'll help you right here. The sides. The sides right here. Oh, wow. So, mm -hmm. over here, what did you got? Can't we use a... Uh, you could probably stick there, there or pour some paint or I would just yeah so how I pour paint is I don't put it on top I just set it on the side and just let it go there and then let it go down I can't see what I'm doing so you have to go to the other side and tell me if I hit the mark or not So I'm gonna do my, my 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 you do your stick, stick you get trick. that side we'll double we'll double team it and I'll get this side Tag team. Beautiful. This side looks amazing. Amazing. The other thing you have to think about now, because I know you like a lot of cells, is do I want to torch this anymore? Do I want to try for a variety, variety of sizes? Do I want big cells with baby cells? Or if I could, it's a I would love to see could I get some cells right there. You want some on the edge? Right where that big spot is. In here? Mm-hmm. Or you want, so that's the other thing is that's your background. I'm not going to talk you out of it, but I'm going to just tell you what my thinking is. My thinking is that I wouldn't touch that with a 10-foot pole because that's what gives this particular painting that nebula space look. And if you okay. torch that up, you're going to lose that. So you wouldn't touch it with a 10-foot pole. I would not pole. touch that. And since I only have a 5-foot pole, we're going to leave it alone. <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave it alone. Let's leave it alone. But I, I get it. Saying, it's a, you, but I get how you just described it. Yes. It, it, Otherwise, it, you could torch it up and you would have a painting full of beautiful cells. Um, look how big. Some of these are larger than a quarter. Yes. They are gigantic. And you've got nice little ones here. You've got the double... Um, so I'm going to point yes. out these cells here that look like little twinsies. Yes. That's the um, side effect. I love it. It's, it's a personal preference thing um, of the golden gloss pouring medium. They mm. make the, they make they always make twinsy cells that look like little kidney beans. It's like a feature. I love of the that. ones that you have three and four layers of color. Of color. That's so what I'm going to do is hold this up for the audience on youtube you can roll roll inside out and throw those away that, that right. glow those gloves all right now go grab for it by here and then yep you got it um hold it up so they can see we will zoom in at the end and we'll do your second one all right so let me hold this up so everyone can see what tommy has just created because oh my god it's gorgeous don't mess up my masterpiece uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so there's just a little close-up oh that is for everyone it's gorgeous. So we're gonna move him over to the other counter. Um, first, I gotta make some room. Room. Or can you move the, the two? I'll move these two. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's the colors too. Great choice of colors. It definitely looks like celestial planets or something in space. It's okay, so you pretty. Can come over. You can come over. All right, mm -hmm. here I come. Gorgeous. All right. Number two. Go ahead and layer your colors. I'm going to grab the canvas. What's that stuck to the canvas? Oh. Okay. Mommy? Hi, honey. Hold on one second. You go ahead and lay your colors. All right. Hey, Club Club, come here. Mommy. So, um, Tommy, can you go around to the other side so people can see what you're doing? Absolutely. Yeah. 
She'll have her own channel pretty soon, folks, and uh, oh, that with, be... you know, 100,000 sub subscribers and in no time flat. So, quick learner. So this time she's starting with the white. She's decided. She's gonna do the opposite. Or are you gonna end with the black last? Or you haven't decided? I don't know. And I, she's I, doing I, what moves what, her. Yes. Whatever the spirit moves her. I might just, oh, I don't know. I don't know. It's time for my favorite color. This color is so, this is the metallic. It's metallic cobalt teal. Oh my God, this color, I can't get enough of this color. What am I missing? I didn't use black yet, did I? Mm -mm. Yeah, the aqua green. And you can start over. These are uh, 10 by 10 gallery wrap canvases, y'all. I'm going to use all of it, right? Mm -hmm. Might as well Whatever use. you want to do. Okay. This one's going to be better than the last one. Watch. You think? What do you think about putting this with that? I think it'd be spectacular. Yeah, I want to try that. All right, that's plenty of paint. All right. So you're going to flip that on your canvas? Go ahead and flip that on your canvas. Good flip job. Let that sit a second. That flip was better than the last one. It, mm -hmm. felt, it felt good. Flip that. I felt good? Yeah, it that felt flip good. flip felt good? <sighs> All right. It's just time we're doing the flip and drag, right? Yes. So you're going to... Wait, that has water in it. You're going to take... You have your cup down. You're going to take it to a corner. Mm-hmm. And as you lift up, you're gonna pull it this way. You're gonna drag it down. Let's go to a corner. Let's go. Oh wow! Don't go off. You don't go off. You're going off. You're like a gymnast. You're gonna get penalized. <laughs> <laughs> the floor routine. I won't get a ten, but I'll get a nine point nine eight. How yeah, about that? like the floor routine. Right. They step out of bounds. Don't go. But only my out. toe went out. <laughs> you ready? Yeah, ready. Let's go. Uh, you lost my thing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got, I got to do it. I got to do it. Hold on, because you lost a big puddle on this side. All right, now take your cup, do your corners. Let me help you out a second, please. Because you're gonna want to get. You're, it's going to be close this time because we lost a lot of paint on the counter. We can't go back over there and get it. <laughs> um, it's kind of mixed in with the mud. So we can't do another quick little pour right there? You can. Um, I think you have enough paint on the canvas. I do? Okay, perfect. So what, I would not torch first this time. I would tilt, tilt first. I would go ahead and just, you don't have to cover the entire canvas. But you're going to want to tilt some of that off and then get your coverage over here can before I, can we Can I do that sure. drag? Yeah, so you don't have to worry about that one corner. Perfect. Yes. And then just you're just stretching paint right now. You're just stretching it all out. You can go ahead and get rid of a little bit. I would go this way first because this is where you actually need coverage. You can always come back to that corner. So you don't have to worry about it. You don't have cells or anything. You're just stretching paint. So you can be a little, you can, you can just move and go. Just get covered so it touches. Okay, I think we'll have enough paint. I can keep going? If you want, but you, can, you want to leave some on the canvas for cells so that it still floats. Okay. So bring it back to the middle. You have enough. You can set it down. And now you can torch.
Yeah, don't worry about the torch. It's it's paint laden. Now you can go for it. I didn't make that go off. It went off by itself. No, just go ahead and press it again. Though. All right. Get a little closer. The heat's barely hitting it. There you go. Now you're getting closer. Yeah. Go. That's probably plenty. The cells are gonna pop up after. I already like that. I love that. Check this one out. A caterpillar? The caterpillar, yeah. And look at the, you have a chain right here of caterpillars. I don't like caterpillars. They're the bane of my existence, but a lot of people like them. <laughs> <laughs> There's someone that, more of those multicolor. Mm-hmm. Slide it to the second. Let those cells grow. Don't be in a hurry. Now, while you're while you're watching it, I'm looking at it. Can I do it. the edges? No, oh, do that wait. last. Okay. Um, while you're staring at it, what do you like? What parts of this do you like? Oh my gosh, I have to save this because I love it. Right here. This. Do you Absolutely. like the white? The rings. Yeah, I actually love it. You like this white corner? I actually do. You do? Mm -hmm. All right. Do you like the other matching corner? No, I do not. Oh, interesting. So you're like, the, why do you, you like this corner, but not that corner? They're almost the same. Hmm. I think because that ring just segues well with it in that blue. But I already know we're going to keep that corner and that corner because I see your eyes. <laughs> no, you do what you want. I'm not. I'm, but I already you're know. painting. That's what we're doing. If it, if it were my painting, Absolutely. both of those corners would be gone. Okay, we're getting like, rid of the corners. No, you do. No, no, no. I want it to be. Per we're getting rid of the corners. Okay. Tell me when it's time to, to do it. Yep, it's, it's time. You ready? So stop and think. So what corner needs the least help? This one. No. no. The least help. The least help that you really don't have to do anything to it oh, at all. Oh, these two. Right. I so you're I leaving those? Oh, yeah. I That's don't care cute. about that. Okay. If, if it ends up there, So then the next one would be this one, right? The least amount of help. Yeah. Yep. So you're going to slowly tilt. The same way. So you're going up and back, up and back. Watch your side because you don't want to lose a lot of those cells. So you want to come up this way. Yep. Come up, come up, come up. I feel like I'm directing traffic. Now go that way. Now come this way again. This way. Straight. And then over. And then straighten it. And then over. And then stop. Straighten it. And drag. There you go. Look at how well you just did. Oh, I don't hope so by now. Now, where, where's the weight of the paint going now? It's over there. Where? To so where, where should it be? In the middle. So take everything back toward the middle slowly. This one's beautiful too though. Oh my God. So now you're gonna head to that other corner. I kind of agree with you on the corner. That corner's spectacular. So we should uh, leave it. Did I just bleed the paint all over my neck? <laughs> you did. <laughs> Classic Karen move. Oh so, oh, oh God, I'm in love with this corner. I don't I want anything to happen too. to that. But you need coverage. You need to come over a little bit. You're holding this way up too high. So straighten the whole thing out again. You're in an airplane. It needs to be level. So when you tilt, just this end is coming up, not the whole painting. Yes. Slowly over. You're, you're too high, this is too high, too high. Now come straight this way. You want you're, you keep wanting to hold it up to you like it's a pitcher. Leave it level and then just do a corner. So you're just going like this, right? We're coming in for a landing. And we're coming in for a landing and I'm just gonna take that off the edge because I know you don't want to lose it. All right, straighten it out, set it down. Now, we got our coverage. It looks great. How are the cells looking? How's your composition? How are the colors? Are things where you want them to be? Because you're the boss of the paint. You're Miss Bossy Pants. You dictate 
where things should be. I would love to see a few more cells over here. Then I would go ahead and torch that corner. Here, I'll do it for you just because I know your hands are on the Right in here? Yes. We'll give those a second. And hopefully we'll get a couple of nice big ones. Not huge. They won't get real big because we've already tilted. Tilted. But, but there'll be more than it was. If this were mine, because remember, we just did this whole side, right? Mm -hmm. So where's the weight of the paint? Over here. So where should the weight of the paint be? In the middle. You're going to tilt back toward the middle. And that tilting will help those cells grow. And it'll help the um, composition of your cells. Because if they start to get wonky, you just want to go back the original direction so they keep their shape. And let those cells grow. You're done. Get her done. No, no. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh, it's gorgeous too. You got three amazing paintings and your painting now have better paint. than mine. I yeah, oh, that's great. Holy. Yeah, they are. That's spectacular. Look at the cells. Oh my God. <sighs> so, now I would take your cup because you have the leftover paint or your stick. Oh, I can my stick. And you can pour, I'll do over here for you. Pour down the side, not on top, but down the sides to get your coverage since this is a, a deep canvas. All right, so I got coverage on this side. And we'll do a close up for our audience and be done. Yay! This and is, I need some light purple over here. Spectacular. It's really, really gorgeous. Pop the camera down, say goodbye to the YouTube folks, and give a quick close-up of those three. But excellent work, Tommy. So fun to have a guest student uh, on my channel. So thank you for allowing me to film you. Thank you. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful work. Uh, ah. Really, really <laughs> spectacular. Oh, that corner? What, did I we got miss one? two corners, yeah. All right, we'll get them we'll off get camera. We'll get those, yeah. Let me uh, get the audience down so they can take a peek at this guy. Look at yourselves here, the Gru. See? So let me get you down on this one, everybody. This is Tommy's third one. Ah, oh. third one, y'all. That's amazing. Actually, it's your second, because I did the first one. This is only your second one. You like this corner? She wants me to show you this corner she's in love with. So, so pretty. So pretty. And these cells over here, my goodness, that's just amazing. Excellent, excellent work. Let me take you over to her first one. Sorry for the glare. It's my overhead light over on this side of the counter. But still, this took the glare and took the phone. Beautiful, beautiful. And then there's the first one, our practice one. And where am I? Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Say bye, Tommy. Bye. I have pain on my neck. I'm such a mess y'all um thanks for watching thanks for tuning in i hope you liked uh enjoyed watching um a new student um uh have a lesson with yours truly and uh yeah we'll see you guys soon take care bye bye